to answer the question, who do I have the potential to become, required that we ask the question in somewhere different than where we already are. Because we get held by where we are. I know myself, you know, at home as that person who lives at home, in that life, in that routine, in those patterns. And a lot of them are wonderful and beautiful, but they hold me, they surround me. And in some ways they restrict my thinking. They don't allow me to imagine myself as somebody else. Um, or to confront things that maybe are um, limiting but comfortable. So I was holding that notion and um, I've always noticed that when I travel, that's when I can let go. I'm not surrounded anymore by my markers. I'm not surrounded by my patterns or even my routines. And the most basic things have changed. You know, I'm not even having the same thing for breakfast. And so I'm in a place of freedom. Um, it's scary because I can't anticipate things as well. Um, but that's where I found I was able to discover new parts of me or try on things that I wasn't sure yet whether I wanted to bring home um, or leave things behind. Uh, somehow leaving it behind while I'm away is easier than leaving it in my everyday pattern. So I, I've had this you know, personal way of, of leaning into life's big questions and um, I thought, oh, I'd like to bring that to life for others. And so it's a number of different components that fit together in Advivam journeys. You know, part of it is the travel, to go somewhere where it's new, you're outside your norm, you're in a different space. That's a real intense kind of learning. It's a different learning than if I were to go over the very same curriculum in a boardroom or in a classroom, or in a, you know, a standard hotel conference room. So it's not an inspired place. It's also not a challenging place, you know? And it's different that is challenging. But when we're in a new place, we're also immersed in a new culture, in a new way of being that already exists around us. And so then we get excited by new tastes and new sounds and new beliefs and, and new customs and it actually draws us in so we don't have to recreate everything from its you know very beginning so a culture and a new everything a new experience of a, a new food you know gives us opportunity to say oh wow yeah I didn't I always thought I didn't like this or I do you know I love that so it's a huge place of discovery which allows us to come to the same question of, you know, who am I in my greatest potential um, from a different way of knowing. And then it, laying in that a creative experience of some sort, whether it's cooking or whether, you know, in Hawaii we'll do hula or cooking in Tuscany or, you know, all of these things allow us to be in discovery, but with our intuitive selves, you know, with our artistic selves. We can't answer these big questions just from our intellectual self. It's a part of it. But there's this whole other expressive self that wants to get in the game. So there's always this creative thread that goes through these journeys. And they help in deepening the answers um, that we come to. And so we've got the adventure of a new place, we've got a creative thread that helps us, we've got the new culture that begs all these questions, and then there is the experience, you know, the experience of being on a journey, on a quest. Societies have done that forever, you know, questing or sabbaticals or experiencing time away getting from here to there is a part of finding our answers and doing that with others who are on their own journeys but still journeying beside you. 
is a very, very powerful way to come into a just a new experience of your life. It doesn't have to be a big, you know, altering choice point. Um, but we we've lost those moments. You know, when we're younger, we get guided in who we are through school, graduation, your new job, and then most people have the experience of changing jobs because they seek something new. And maybe you enter into some kind of parenthood or family, and that's another distinct change that you've chosen and that holds you. But then after that, huh, you know? Where, where are the times that we actually give ourselves permission to re-examine and re-emerge? And that's, you know, part of what Advivam Journeys wants to create, um, that opportunity. And I think it's, you know, it's this holistic, whole learning that holds people. It's a whole lot of whole in one sentence. <laughs> so that's Advivam Journeys.